Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 15. In this exercise, we're going to continue the layout of the waterline and do the segment of waterline along the Madison Lane Road. So um, to start, I'll click on one of the pipes that are already in the drawing. And I don't want to create a new network. That seems kind of like the intuitive thing to do. But what I really want to do is edit the network that I've already started. So I'm going to go to Edit Network and Plan Layout Tools. We're working with 6-inch waterline. So I'm going to change my fitting here to a 6-inch T. And I'll start just by adding a fitting. Put my cursor near the center of the circle, and it brings in that 6-inch T. You can see the T in the 3D view here and that it's facing the wrong direction. So I'll click on it, flip it, and now it's facing the right direction. Now I'm going to use the pipes only tool because I plan to lay this along the side of the road and I'm, I'm kind of looking ahead at the layout and there really isn't a need for any bends. Anywhere I need to I can curve the pipe. So rather than have the program put in bends where I don't really need them, I'm going to use the pipes only command. So I'll launch that command, click on the T, watching for the glyph that shows that I'm connected. And I'm going to try to kind of eyeball where the first bend in the road is. If I wanted to, I could actually kind of lay this out as a polyline first. I could even offset the edge of the road out to the center of the right of way and, and convert that to a, a water line. That's certainly one way to do it. And, and maybe even a preferred way to do it. So I'll click there, launch the curve command, pull this around, kind of eyeball where the end of the curve is, and then switch to straight, and then pull it out to, our instructions say to end the water line near the intersection of Logan Court, which I've done. Alright, so that's my plan layout. If we look at that in 3D, you can see what we've got there including the curved pipe. So another part of our um, of our instructions, we've added the T, we've laid out the water line along Madison Lane. We're also supposed to put the water line into the profile view. So that's easy enough. I'm going to um, click the, the T. And then click the pipes that I've drawn as well three of those, one, two, three, and then simply go up to the draw parts and profile command, select the Madison Lane profile view grid, and there they are. Alright, next we are asked to use the design check command to check for any deflection issues. So I'm going to select all three pipes. I could select them in plan or profile, launch the design check command, and we're only asked to check for deflection, so that's what I'm going to pick uncheck the other options, click OK, and hit Escape to make sure I'm not obscuring any of the warning symbols with grips, and so far so good, no deflection issues. Next we're asked to check for depth, and I can tell right away I've got a depth issue right here. So again, I'll pick a pipe and launch the depth check command, select the pipes that, uh, that I want to check, and I'll hit Enter. The depth I want to check is between four and a half, I don't need the, the minus sign, and 10 feet, which is already set to 10. I'll click OK, and you can see we've got a warning symbol right here that says we've got depth exceeded. Now these warning symbols can be a little tricky to get the tooltips to show up. Sometimes you have to do a regen. Here we go, minimum depth of cover violated from station 15 to station 21. Minimum depth of cover is minus 9.3 and we need 4.5, so it's sticking up out of the ground. We kind of knew that anyway. So let's see what we need to do here. I'm going to pull this pipe down. I'm not really sure how deep I need to be. We'll pull this down to here. And I want to point out that while I'm making these changes, I'm also kind of disconnecting the pipes. So watch out for that. In fact, what I'm going to do is pull this back and then pull it forward again to connect it. Notice I don't have the plus sign anymore.
here I don't have any plus signs so they actually are connected here so watch out for that broken connection so let me do my depth check one more time one two three hit enter it remembered my values from last time I still have a depth problem here let's see what we've got I'll do a regen so I can get that tooltip to come up so here we've got maximum depth exceeded we're just barely exceeding it by my uh, a hundredth of a foot 10.09 or actually a tenth of a foot so let's pull that up just a little bit make sure I'm still connected you gotta really watch your visual cues with these connections and I'm gonna bet here we've got a minimum cover violation do a regen yep minimum depth of cover violated so let me just pull the end of that pipe down a little bit and we'll check it again one two three depth check actually with the depth check you launch the command first and then run it and what I should have done actually is cleared all pressure pipe warnings first and then run the depth check one two three and I'm not seeing any new warning symbols in plan or profile and we're all good so that concludes the essentials and beyond exercise for chapter 15